Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you guys here. Hope you guys have been having a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new units coming to the Sky RPG. We got Mr. Zerokin, we got Miss Artina from Disgaea 4, and Zerokin from Disgaea 5, which is pretty hype. Uh, they're going to be platinum summon units, so in this video, we're going to be talking about their details, their stats, and all that jazz. So if you guys enjoy this content, you can definitely hit that subscribe button if you guys want to. We're on our road to 2,000 subscribers. That'll be pretty cool if you could ever hit that, you know? So, uh, again, uh, both these units are pretty solid. I don't think they're super duper must-haves but they're not bad units at all and again we will be going into more detail here in a second but um they will be coming out on may 13th if you guys didn't know may 13th after the maintenance they will be up so i just want to go ahead and give you guys that information uh but let's check it out so first off we're going to look at zerok and then we'll jump into artina but right here we have all his stats which are looking pretty good uh, for the most part, very he's more of a balance, but the big thing about him is the extra speed that he gets compared to other units. Like even if you look like a tire of Taurus, he's around in the 50s. Um, so that 63, he's gonna be pretty fast, right? He's definitely gonna be pretty fast, which I think that's why they you know they didn't give him a crazy attack stat because his speed is definitely gonna be very outshining. And I think it shows, especially when we get to his abilities, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Um, he is gonna fist weapon mastery. Here are resistances and his attributes. And like I mentioned, fist wielding ally speed plus six percent without any dupes, without any nether enhancement. That's definitely very nice. He's obviously a fist wielder, so that's a huge buff for him. And basically, any other fist wielders on your teams, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot as of right now. The only ones I could really think of are like Fenric, that might uh, a bunch of you might have, but for the most part, like oh, Adele too. Adele is also a fist user, so that's good. And I believe Jennifer is one as well, but you know, I don't think many people are gonna be summoning for her. So there's a couple units that you guys could use on a fist team. Um, but I feel like if you didn't summon on Fenric and if you're not gonna summon on Jennifer, uh Zerokin, it's gonna be kind of awkward to run on some teams because again, um he works best with fist uh wielders, but again, you could kind of use them on any team. And really you could use you could put fist on any unit if you really want to. But um, you know, the the primary basis is you want to go for what the weapon mastery teams right so uh that's just a little unfortunate right there's not like a whole lot of units but in the future when there is more fist units i think he will definitely shine a bit more uh on globals specifically uh right here we got nether enhancement plus one ally with the highest action gauge plus 40 percent when the turn ends that's actually not bad to have on your teams right uh 40 percent percentage is actually pretty high so i would definitely say that's good but again it's not necessarily um something that you desperately need but hey it's still good right uh, over here we got another enhancement plus five fist wielding ally single targeted damage dealt plus 15 percent so that's not bad at all again unfortunately we're really early on into the game so we don't have like a full fist team yet i don't even think you could run a full fist team unless you use some of the like there's like some humanoid units that use fist that i can't think of at this moment but um if they're like you probably could but it's still going to be a little difficult right for the most part like especially if you're trying to rock like a crazy top tier team by the way i think axel's also a fist yeah yeah okay so axel's also a fist. so i mean if you summon on the platinum banners you definitely have it but i don't think a lot of you did but just kind of going over that uh let's go ahead and look at his character skills here so uh, the first skill is a single target power is a little bit on the low end but it's fine he does have an aoe and it's f plus so power is okay uh but it is aoe which is good and then over here Oh, another enhancement plus three it's a cool sounding skill that took three days to name speed plus 15 percent that's nice that's really good so this man's fast like bottom line this man is supposed to be fast as hell and i think that's really cool that we have like you know characters that's just like you know speeding gonzalez so uh, i like that over here we got character magic spells uh we got wind and feeble mega wind mega and feeble and giggle wind so unfortunately I would probably want to invest anything into his staff. It's nothing crazy. And here's his nether enhancement. So overall, pretty solid unit. I think the only thing that holds him back is that we just don't have a whole lot of fit. I mean, we do, but unfortunately, I feel like it's, it's just going to take a bit more time to build a team around him uh, versus like a store team, right? But he's definitely not a bad addition at all to your boxes. So um, I do give him a, a pretty decent pass. I like him. I like his speed idea and i feel like he's not a bad unit and by the way i totally forgot to read nether enhancement plus seven but all allies action gauge plus 15 plus 50 when a turn ends that's sick that's really really good so uh that's nice so he, then there he goes that's where he speeds up the team with nether enhancement plus seven but again 
Now that it has been plus seven, you need to go full dupe on him. So it's just, it's, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of investment that you guys got to do with him, but he's not bad. So let's go ahead and talk about Artina here. Uh, she is going to be a, you know, gun user over here. This is her resistance, definitely being her, you know, her resistance being the real nice stat, obviously HP as well is usually pretty high than all her other stats. Uh, here is her attribute table resistances. And again, she's going to be a gun wielder so let's go ahead and see what she does here so her main is gun wielding allies all stats except speed plus 12 percent so that's nice that's a nice little you know 12 percent buff for a gunner team so that's cool uh her nether enhancer plus one is hl gain plus 10 percent i like that a lot actually to be honest hl is always nice and having that is very great <laughs> i mean uh, i i don't always get to get a lot of hl for my runs so if i had that i would be pretty cool uh, and then here's another support. You got gun wielding allies, AoE damage dealt plus 15%. So that's great. The only unfortunate thing, same thing with Zerokin. We just don't have a whole lot of shooters yet. I think Jennifer, obviously, Jennifer is. Pfft, oh, never mind. She's fist. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I totally forgot I clicked on her earlier. Um, who else from the these units? Oh, you got like our you know, Rosalind. That Rosalind's kind of I mean, she's okay. Um not really a whole lot unfortunately not yet at least so that's gonna be another one that's gonna be like a sleeper uh for a little bit i'm gonna imagine i mean you got rosalind what does Cecily have i have you no you're, yeah so your stat yeah i don't even there's not many uh yeah that's the problem that's definitely gonna be an issue there's not many gun wielders yet there will be obviously it's gonna take some time which is great the great thing about the platinum banners these banners do come back pretty regularly from my understanding so She's not a super must-have at the gate, but she over time she'll definitely have her use. But that's definitely good. Like she's definitely if you're trying to run a gun wielding team, she's gonna be very beneficial. Again, all stats and AODE damage. And then her nether hands plus seven, all allies, elemental damage taken, minus fit. Wow. I like that DR actually. That's that's good. That's actually pretty good. 15%. We'll take that. I like that. Uh let's go ahead and look at her character skills. You know, E plus uh single, HL robbery. Okay, interesting. Uh, we got Angel Whip, which is self. Um, so she's more of like supporting. Uh, with, that's cool. And then Nether has her plus three. Um, resistance plus 30%. So her resistance is going to be good. She's going to be tanky on top of being a support to her gun wielding allies, which is really sick. And I definitely like that. Definitely a bit more of an interesting unit. Um, not a unit that you might. I mean, you could, you know, go to that level nine staff if you guys want. That Braveheart's always beneficial to have. Then she is also healing, so not bad. So she's healing, she's a support to guns, uh, to the gunners, and she's also a pretty good tank. I like her. I think our team is actually pretty solid, man. Um, she's built a bit differently. She's not like an Oonga Boonga unit, and she definitely does a pretty, it seems like she does a pretty good job at what she does. Um, and the same thing with Zerokin. Again, the only issue is, it was, we just don't have a whole lot of purpose for these units just yet, because like primarily, you know the big time units you know it's kind of like all over the place like rosalind's bow uh time robin is a sword uh who's like another big unit that we've gotten so far laharo's freaking axe where is he he's axe so it's like we're, we've been all over the place right um over time for sure though these units will have a lot more use i just don't think they're gonna have a whole lot of use right now at this present meta it's gonna take a little while of course so if you guys want to summon on these you guys could definitely summon on these i mean they're gonna be great i mean these units will not be bad units to have, but um, again, that's just up to you. It's definitely up to you guys. I'm personally going to skip. Again, I'll have a shooty summon video when we see the actual banner, of course. So once we see the actual banner, I will, you know, go into more detail on what it looks like. If you guys should summon, if it's worth it, but it's good for me to have this video for not only giving you guys the details on said units, it also helps me as well know what the hell unit, like what these units do. And I think that's very beneficial for me and you, the viewers. So uh that's pretty much the end of the video so again if you guys enjoyed the content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more disguise rpg content news updates and all that jazz gotcha talks here hope you guys have a great rest of your day i have one more video coming out i that video was recorded before all this but it's basically just going over all the missions for tyrant valvatores it's kind of like a fill-in video and that is basically it my friends so i will see you guys very soon take care and you know eat your sardines bye